What up? This your boy Devante from Devante's from Devante's Paradise with another banger for your ass. Now we got YouTube twelve. Hold on, let me check. How y'all doing today? Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, YouTube twelve. Uh, so, the first one I did home, second one I did videos, third one I did shorts, and fourth one we're doing playlist. Um, how am I going to do this? So we're going to leave out sound effects, because those aren't done yet. Let's start with ups. So I'm going to show you guys the full playlist. Um, I did delete a few videos. I decided to keep everything in 2021 for updates. I'm not too concerned with my look. I do want to look at least somewhat presentable. So of course with updates. We have the the updates where I'm talking, iPod updates, the brand, and I think it was to get yeah, the GameCube updates for 2021. Where was it? The brand is done in episodes of 15 due to the influence of the Boondocks. Um, iPod updates. Did, do I keep going up in numbers on that or I think I'm gonna do 99 and then I'll figure out what to do from there updates 8 I'll probably do 99 of those as well GameCube update, we're going to do 99 of those. And you can see the theme of each one. Um, as far as the crumpled up paper background, it's something I always thought about when I first wanted to start YouTube. And I always wanted to put borders on it too, so. And that's 2021 this is 2022 season one season one is from 2019 to 20 2022 um, I ran into a lot of copyright issues so I had to switch everything up and it was it was it was getting difficult to post videos so that's why I had to get rid of archives um, archives are very hard to do because anybody can copyright claim the videos and put it onto a song or just claim it, copyright claim it and have ownership of it. The video will be good at one point and then all of a sudden it's copyright claimed because it's a random video with no ownership. And next thing you know you get hit with a bunch of copyright strikes and once you get three your channel's gone. Um, that's why I also focus on backing up my content as well so um, also back in the day a lot of the f I just kind of wanted to put stuff out there so the content wasn't focused on me it was focused on everything else <laughs> uh, that sounds like a representation of my life as well um, I focus too much on others and other things other than myself so I want to focus more on myself and that's what I'll start doing um, we do have the GameCube updates we have the brand of course iPod I think there was something else oh thanks for subs um, I tried my shot at skits I don't think they're that bad. 
At first I thought they were cringe, but they're not that bad. My voice is kind of dry, my humor is kind of dry. I am getting better. Um, I am understanding angles, possibly writing a script, having different outfits. I'm understanding a little bit more on how to get skits done. And I want to do them with myself first. Again, the main focus right now is me, myself. So, this is 2020. I took a year break. Um, I did get burnt out as well. So I had to take a break for a year. Um, contemplated a lot of things. Started writing more. And learning a little bit more about editing. And how to make things better from my year hiatus. And come out 2024 with this. Uh, this is what I created back in 2022, I believe. I thought I'd do away the the flash drive that had the original artwork and I spent about a good minute or two. I spent a little bit more time versus on the 2022 one. I didn't really spend too much time. I spent about five minutes, a minute to five minutes on the the album artwork and this is what I came up with I thought I lost it but then I seen the flash drive in the drawer instead of the trash can I load up the flash drive and boom now I don't have that flash drive anymore I put some type of content on there that I can't get rid of and it doesn't let me add anything into the flash drive I think I got rid of it yeah I, yeah, I definitely got rid of it. Uh, so we brought back the brand. Um, thank you for the subs, or skits. Uh, categories, I explain what the different categories are, the thought process that I have, and all that. And then the GameCube update. Um, at first, I put an effort into it as far as the GameCube update. But it just, the quality is not the best. It's okay, but it's not the best. Because I'm taking the phone and pointing it to the TV. I am learning a little bit more. I'm also learning that you can edit the, you can edit the video on the phone. Yeah, I just got through doing a Def Jam fight for New York. Actually, you know what? Let's do this real quick. And this is taking longer than expected, so. I may just keep going with the flow. I may just keep going with the flow. Let's see how it goes. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oops. My thing about doing playlists is having everything organized because once I do get my audience, which is coming, I am building an audience, an actual audience. I want everybody to be able to find my videos pretty easily. Let's add that album artwork. Yeah, you guys are getting exclusive. But yeah, with the, with the um, you guys are getting exclusive content. But the way that the GameCube update goes, I'm not really liking it. I'm going to keep going. But I realize you got to... I am going to get a capture card pretty soon. But right now, I just kind of want to do it this way. Just so I can look back. It'd be like, oh yeah, I remember when I used to do content this way, you know. Um, director's Cut is coming soon for that, so. Where is it? Oops. I may have to edit it.
best refresh. And just a random thought too. There's a game I'm missing. It's called Borderlands 2. Yeah, see, Def Jam Fight for New York. Um, very expensive game. It costs 120 bucks. It's a very sought after game. Alright, I guess we're done with updates for now. Can't wait for that one to come out. Um, I should put something in the comment section though. I was I'm supposed to do it before. But I don't really have time like that. Let's do social media next. <laughs> Which we're doing now, YouTube twelve. Uh, so, I was doing the archives. These are 2020. No, these are 2019. Jeez, I've been doing YouTube for long, for a long time. Um, these are 2019, where it just has Devonte Paradise. It's pretty simple. Then Team D on the side. I originally had archives set, but archives is just too difficult to keep on on. Um, on YouTube, it's too many copyright claims and too much. It's a lack of ownership. You have to kind of buy everything up and, and have ownership of it. Um, it. It's not a game I'm willing to get into. Archives are are on Tumblr. I may put them on Rumble. Live Journal eventually. They're definitely on Tumblr. I can't remember what else. I think I think that's it. I think that's it. And these are 2020. So only social media has the 2019-2020 um, cover art, album artwork, however you say it. Um, I do I do the videos in two styles as well. Um, one's the long way and one is diagonal for the longer content. Um, what I should do is make them into shorts and then get people to click on them. And link them to my older videos, the, the longer form videos. That's what I'll do. Oh, so these were the original social media platforms that I used I didn't take a break for four years there was um, something on iPhone forever I'll get into that a little bit so then we have these it's pretty organized I would always make the mistake too of deleting the video if you delete the video but you don't take it off the playlist it makes it seem like there's hidden videos on the playlist that aren't there and for me it's like I'm not a perfectionist but it has to be pretty good I used to be a perfectionist now for me it's just like I'm gonna make a mistake whatever So next we have trendy. Uh, these are videos that are trending. Um, and you get to read the comment section at the same time while I scroll. I think it's a pretty interesting thing. Something that me and my OG were talking about. Get something trendy in there. And this is the idea that I came up with. Um, I started in 2021. I should wait to iPhone forever to explain that, but 2022, I did start. Uh, Trendy does have copyright concerns as well, but it's based off of the user or the content creator themselves or the YouTuber. If they decide they don't want the video on there, the video the video gets shut down. Um, I will keep everything on backup. I am better at that 
So there are trendy videos that I still have that I can't put on YouTube. And I'll be able to put them on other platforms for you guys as well. Um, I am being more true about trendy. Oh, Haminations. <laughs> Should I do that now? I'll do that later. Um, I usually put the trendies on a week later after the trendy. So before I was just kind of going through the list and just putting trendy videos out there. Uh, I may go back to that style eventually and just kind of put them out there. I may bring it back in 2025. I don't know. Um, I just want to focus more on resting myself, my mind, my body, and being there for people that really need me and keeping my circle very small and limiting um, contact with people. Because I do have to focus on myself. Focus on my health. If I don't do it now, everything will get worse. So we have Sharky's Arcade 2. Um, I didn't have a capture card. The consensus is capture cards are pretty expensive. They are. I went to find a way to... Core content on the switch and I figured it out you press I don't know what that button is called it's not the power button it's on the other side the snapshot button um, you have to hold it and with the switch it'll record 30 minutes of gameplay all right 30 minutes 30 seconds of gameplay so once I figured that out I'm like, yeah, we're making Sharky's Arcade, too. And it went from there. Now, I will be selling my Switch, the original Switch that I have. Um, I already finished Sharky's Arcade, too. So, don't have to worry too much about that. I have been um, putting in ad space for Sharky's Arcade, too. Because with the other content, for some strange reason, you can't put ad space on a video that has emojis. And I don't know why that's a rule. It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. So Sharky's Arcade 2 went first. So as you see, we got Cuphead. Um, I quit after a while. Cuphead got too hard. I don't game like I used to. I've been focusing more on making content. I've, I've truly been putting a lot into just making content and all the social media stuff. I've been, it's been more of an addiction, you know, in a way. I know that sounds bad, but I'm just really passionate about doing this in a YouTube and just creating content and, and taking advantage of branding and, and going from there. So we do have a Cuphead, then Super Mario 64, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, I did buy the digital version, so I still have the digital version. And we got Dragon's Dogma, Naruto, Ring Fit Adventure, New Super Lucky's Tale. Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. It's a classic. And we took a break. Onimusha Warlords. Another classic. Showing my age. Resident Evil 4. The Wonderful 101. Is there anything else? Resident Evil 5 and 6. Fez. And I think 
Final Fantasy 7 is at the end. Yep. Um, so I definitely won't be coming back with this for 2025. I'll come back in 2027. For Sharky's Arcade too. What else we got? Oh, reactions. This has been a minute. Uh, these are mainly Lore Side. He's our artist. He's he's a he's a rapper in our group. Um, we manage him. I engineer for him whenever he wants to do a song. Taking heads. I met them at Czar. Czar is a call center. I met Taking Heads and E3 the Prodigy at Czar. And they kind of linked up together. I don't know if they ever did any songs. Um, but I met both of those guys at Czar. Cliff Swag, I met him at VRI. Marley Montana, I met him at Czar, I believe. Chromaz, I don't know who Chromaz is. Um, she's somebody that just kind of went to my timeline. I'm like, oh, she's pretty cute. And I seen a Marcus V. Stallion disc and went from there. She has some pretty good music, I guess. Uh, she does OnlyFans. And I heard she fucks around and all that. Um, I'm still going to do reactions until I run out of content with her. Um, whatever. Whoop Dog. Whoop Dog, I met at. Uh, What's that place called where you sell electricity? I met him at the, it was a call center before Zar. I met him there. Um, some ordinary gamers, I don't know him. He's a pretty big YouTuber. Um, Pokemon is wild. It's a video I seen and it was a situation that I ran into a lot of times, so I decided to cover it. Six one or six six one is a Takashi six nine clone. Don't know him. He got embarrassed because of his nose, the way his nose looks, and he never dropped anything else. Carcino for life is a guy that I watched in the mid twenty tens. Um, I liked his content at first, but now it's like he's too inconsistent. Um, again, I. I I look up to him to a degree, but his content's too inconsistent. And back in the days, he was the only one covering the news the way he was. Now everybody covers the news the way they, the, the way that he does. Hell, the artists or the basketball players can cover the news better than Carcino for Life can now. Um, he already makes his money from sports betting and the more of the sports than the actual music news. He's just too inconsistent now. And everybody else caught up to him. I mean, look at me. I'm even doing content now. Layla Capri. I seen her from a Crank Lucas video. And I thought, oh, she, she seems cool. And she has some videos, so. Shout out to her. I will be covering. I will continue to cover her as well. Martian the One is my cousin. It's my uncle's son on my mom's side. There's some pretty interesting stuff about him. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Lo Lili. I have no idea about this person. Of course, it's Cliff Swag again, Chisel Adonis, famous YouTuber, So Illuminati, famous YouTuber, Long Beach Griffey Comp, I had to do that. Bosco 100, I used to watch a lot of his films. Um, oh, the Alamante films. He said, real men suck dick. Right. I get what he was saying, though, but I don't know. I got mixed feelings about that. Uh, yeah, you guys get the point. And of course,
course, there are some reactions that I do have backed up that I can't put on YouTube. There's also copyright issues on that as well. What else? Ooh, iPhone forever. It's a mixture of different things. Um, this, this category is strictly done with TikTok in mind. Strictly done with TikTok in mind. Uh, trendy. These trendies, I'm actually talking on them. So, I give commentary on them. I will come back to though that style for the next iteration of Trendy. But on these Trendies, I'm talking on them. In the GameCube update, I think there's a reaction. There's updates, of course. Yeah, it's mostly trendy. Oh, then there's a the social media. Um, Sharky's Arcade 1 will always stay on iPhone forever. Well, no, no. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. Sharky's Arcade is coming with his own style. Because I want to do Apple Arcade games. Oh, wait, no. Apple Arcade games are considered. Why would I do that for dangerous? Why would I call that dangerous wave gaming instead of Sharky's Arcade? That should be called Sharky's Arcade. That makes a lot of sense. So we got. So I'll change that to Sharky's Arcade. I might push that back too, though. Or maybe I just I'll just keep Sharky's arcade videos with the sideway games and then I'll figure it out. I'll let you guys know. So we got social media and Sharky's arcade. Sharky's arcade rare videos. There's a certain direction I'm thinking about taking the rare content that I'm thinking about. I want to make my main game Survivor IO. And that's what I'll do. Shorties. I'm gonna put hashtags to these and then put them on Pinterest and, and TikTok as well. Um, I decided to stop doing shorties because I sh I kind of looked back at the videos and I didn't like the editing style. I need to start doing a lot more editing. Yeah, I like this this little feed right here and it was um, it was obvious to me when I did my last video is that it that's not it whatever I'm gonna wrap this video up Not sound effects. Let's do a brief intro. Yeah, let's wrap this up. Um, brief intros were done a long time ago. I did them at first in a certain way, but then I decided to switch the style just for safety reasons. Um, I'll talk briefly about the artists, their features, the albums. This was done back in 2018, 2019. No, 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 2019, 2018, 
2020, maybe. And I did a bunch of them. I decided to bring them back and find the oldest interviews of the artist as possible with my commentary. Yeah. So I'm going to go down the list you guys can see. This will go on for 2024, 2025. I'm trying to get these videos out the way. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy Devontae from Devontae's Paradise. Anyway, peace.